Well, it's something I expected. Um, I mentioned this about 208, 208, 209, it was going to be difficult. And I didn't think it would get any better to 212. We were spending too much and whatever government got in, they had to make cutbacks. Has it been as bad? In certain areas, in our areas, flooring and fur furnishings and the results coming out today said it was the lowest level it's been for many, many years and the uh, fashion people have not seen the effect as much as the retailers in the, the homeware side. And I do feel that it's going to be tough and I believe next year is going to be tough as well. I think it's going to be very tough. I think that uh, the good retailers will have to look at all expenses, capital expenditure, uh, number of staff, and uh, it's going to be a difficult time. But um, what will happen, the, the good retailers will get stronger, and uh, sorry to say that the weak ones will go out of business. This always happens in recessions. I think um, all retailers are going to find it tough over the next um, one to two years. I think what's not been mentioned is apart, apart from the VAT going up to 20% and uh, unemployment, we're going to see inflation uh, coming through very high for the first time that we've seen it probably for 10, 12 years. And the reason for that is Germany, uh, sorry, uh, uh, China are buying up all the wool, all the polyprop and, it's, and they're getting bigger prices and the prices coming in are going to be somewhere near 8 to 10 percent dearer than they were 12 months ago. So we're going to have a tough time. We're going to have inflation, VAT rises, a lot more unemployment and housing markets are going to be very difficult as well. So yes, it is going to be difficult, but the most important thing and the good re retailers will take is market share. And the one thing about taking market share, once you've got it, you've got to hold on to it. The country is built on small entrepreneurs and we've got to make sure we get more and more small entrepreneurs coming into the business. My advice to them is look after the cash. Make sure that your business, your cash flow is good. Um, I've always done that and making sure that you don't over borrow at these very difficult times. Um, also look at the expenses, look at head office expenses and also you've got to look at gross margin because when you've got less business going through and there is going to be less because the consumer has got less to spend. You may have to put up your gross margin, which again comes back why you want to see more inflation in the country. Well, I've been a Conservative all my life. Um, I think what they announced in July was the right thing to do. And I thought that um, they might not be brave enough to do what they've done. So I think the things that this government's doing, this coalition government, are what the country needs. We've got to learn to live within our means as a country, and I believe they're doing that. It's going to be difficult for retailers, it's going to be difficult for, for the consumer, it's going to be difficult for people out of work, but they are definitely doing the right thing. And I think in, by 2012, 2013, we're going to see the benefits of what they're doing now. Well, very much so. Um, I mean, the, the biggest problem is that um, 18 months ago you could get a 95, 95 to 100% mortgage. Today, the most you can get is a 75% mortgage. And I believe that's going to stay for the next two to three years. Because the banks, if they, if they lend you 90% or 95%, the gap they get, they have to pay into the central fund uh, five times that amount. So they will not be lending that sort of sum. So there's going to be less house movements. I think the good thing's going to be is the, the new, newcomer, the first time buyer, who's got that 25% will be able to buy a bargain and I would recommend anyone at this time, if you've got the deposit to pay down, I don't think there'll be a better time to buy a house. But I think it's going to be a difficult market. I not only think it's going to be difficult for the flooring and the, um, uh, and the um, homewares market, it's going to be difficult for many people because they're going to have less money to spend. The only point I would say from our market, and this is from all the recessions I've been through, people say, oh, we're not going to move, so we do up the home. We spend money on buying the carpet, I might buy a three-piece suite. And that's why normally our business comes out of the recession first.